Hello everyone, bringing you another cabinet contents video today. And what we're going to be looking at today is some 80s small kit and ration items which I've put on display. This is based on a few photos I've managed to find actually showing small kit during the Falklands War. Um, one of Royal Marines, one of the British Army, and actually showing the contents of the hold all and so forth. Obviously the ration items are a few items from ration packs of the period assembled uh, just to, to look nice at the back of the cabinet display. It's not a complete uh, ration pack in and of itself. I'll talk about the reason for including various items as we run through them in the cabinet. Uh, speaking of, we'll have a look at that now. Okay, so here we have the cabinet contents and I am going to run through these a little differently than normal. Normally I just go front to back, left to right across the cabinet talking about the various items. The way these are split up, there are ration items essentially at the rear and then the wash kit items, the contents of the hold all are at the front. So I'll talk about the ration items first and then the contents of the hold all in turn. Starting at the back left here, we have the first ration item, which is a, a packet of mashed potato powder, obviously a foil packet here. And beneath that, we have a hexamine stove. This is a period example. Um, it doesn't have the stand for the metal cup, which was introduced later on, uh, which was in included as part of the, uh, the set later on. This is just a, sto a folding stove and fuel uh, in its grease proof packaging still. And next to that, we have two ration tins. We have beans and tomato sauce here and next to that we have bacon burgers uh, on perched on top of those uh, we have a an oxo cube which was part of ration packs at the time period and then next to that we have a uh, packet in the middle here for the tin opener and then perched on top of the other tin we have the tin opener itself uh, unfolded to show you uh, how that looks there Moving along to the right again, we have here a packet of Puritabs, and of course these are for water purification. There is a little pouch in the top of the 1958 pattern water bottle pouch, which will take uh, a strip of Puritabs like that. Speaking of the bottle, we have here the associated cup, and this is a 1978 dated example. And perched on top of this, we have the racing spoon, of course. Uh, this is again a 70s dated example. And then inside the cup, we have a packet of rolled oats mix, and you can see the... Uh, manufacturer there on the front as well. Same manufacturer as the uh, mashed potato powder. In the centre here, not really fitting in with the other two groups, but nice to have on display nonetheless, is a clasp knife. And this is a 1950s dated example, but it is of the pattern which was issued at the time. Uh, so that's on display there. And then at the front, we have some of the hold all contents or the, the hygiene items, let's say. And on the left here, we have a bar of soap in a civilian plastic soap dish of the period. And underneath that we have a flannel and again the, the inclusion of the flannel is based upon photographs from the Falklands uh, showing men shaving and they have uh, dark green or blue flannels and so I've included one of those there as part of the wash kit for a practical item to have. To the right of that we have a period tube of Colgate toothpaste, a metal tube here, a small one, and to the right of that we have a 1980s period toothbrush as well. Uh, moving to the right again, we have two disposable Bic razors here. Uh, these are modern items still readily available. A slightly odd thing to have in the cabinet from that point of view, but they were around at the time. And again, in photographs showing troops in the Falklands, uh, they do turn up. So uh, a common thing to carry, it would seem. A couple of those there. To the right of those, we have a plastic handled shaving brush. You could make a lather, of course, with the standard soap in the soap dish. If you didn't want to carry an extra set shaving stick or tube of shaving cream, I haven't included either there, just the shaving brush. And this is a British made example. To the right again, we have here a British made plastic comb, a very ubiquitous part of the hold all contents, very commonly seen and obviously included here for completeness sake. Based again on photographs of small kit from the Falklands War, on the right hand side here, we have a pair of plastic handled round nosed scissors included there, very useful item to have. And then just behind those, we have a bottle here of talc. Um, this is a 1980s dated example. I think it is actually dated 1980. Uh, and a useful thing to have again, uh, where your feet and so forth are going to be getting damp, as was very common in the Falklands. So there we are. That's a look at some late 70s, uh, 80s small kit. As I say, quite a lot of it based on uh, photographs from the Falklands War. Uh, and of course, all displayed on top of a period hold all, which you can see underneath here, uh, in a waterproof green material. Uh, this is a 50s example, but they were still issued at the time, and it's very similar to that which was introduced with the late war jungle equipment, which of course is the set of equipment associated with the 1944 pattern web equipment. So uh, I hope you found it uh, interesting having a look through what I currently have on display in the cabinet here. So there we are. I do hope that was interesting. Uh, quite a few people have asked about Fulton Zero Small Kit previously, and it's something I want to cover in more detail going forward, obviously. But 
I frequently rotate the contents of the cabinet to make sure the collection's being uh, used to best advantage and actually on display and, and is seen as opposed to just being shut away in drawers. Uh, and that this is what I chose to put in there this time. So I thought it was an ideal opportunity to go over it in a modicum of detail. It's not obviously uh, comprehensive. That's perhaps something for a future video, but nevertheless, I hope it's of interest to people. If you have found this interesting and you'd like to see more from the channel, then please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, and if you're new subscribing or you've already subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the little notification button down below, which obviously means you'll be alerted when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you'd like to support the channel, you can. There's both a Patreon link and a link through PayPal down below. Thank you very much to everybody who supports me using those two methods. It's very much appreciated. And as I always say, thank you very much indeed. There's also social media for the channel as well. There's Facebook, Instagram and Twitter all linked down below. You can follow the channel over there. There's photographs posted. There will be photographs of the cabinet display and so forth posted over there as well. And if you want to make contact with me, but you don't really use social media, there is, of course, the email address as well down below. Uh, so you can contact me using that. But uh, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. So until next time, bye for now.